everyone, this is Vickerman and welcome back to Tyranny. We are about to meet with the Archons to make the final plan for assault, but before we do, I'm going to go ahead and resupply a bit here. Uh, we do probably have a lot of things we can indeed sell, so that's nice. Uh, I think most of this kind of stuff is just junk. So that's a no-brainer. And I don't think anything actually affects the prices, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, these may be used for, I guess, oh, if they're used for, you know, okay. That makes sense. Anything that's used for raw materials and stuff goes in that one. Just so you know. Um, and I think, did I get a... Fendering Guard Bronze Dagger? I think we can sell that. I think we can sell that. I'm going to keep that for the time being. Staff of Boreal Frost. Get rid of that guy. Might keep that just because it's fine. Uh, and we may have a magic user later that is going to be able to use that. I think that's a pretty good one right there. But we've got a bunch of non goodens. Uh, slash and Pierce. Okay. Sun Soldier Javelin. That's actually better than what we have. I should have equipped our <laughs> All right, so most of this heavy armor, I don't know that we're going to use ever. I might keep that just because it's special. It's got reflect 10% of incoming... Okay, 10% is actually pretty high, I would think, for something like that. We can sell that. I think we're good to sell that. Alright, 53 bronze, which is very nice. Um, okay, we can buy the Frost Sigil, which we could probably find this somewhere, but it's probably a good idea to go ahead and get now. Might as well stock up on camping supplies. I'm going to buy all the healing potions you've got. And that's all you really have, isn't it? Okay. I was expecting more. I must say. Uh, we already talked to you, right? Okay, now that we have a core... Oh, we need to actually use the first one. Show uh, Mr... There we go. So now, for spell creation, you select a core. Uh, in this case, we're going to go with frost first. You can select an expression, uh, which is how it goes forth. Focused intent is kind of, it's ranged, but it's pretty short range. And uh, just a basic uh, damage spell, mostly. Then we have a, a longer ranged one, which is actually what we want for our friend, uh... oh man, Lantry. <laughs> so it tells you how much lore you require. So lore skill is instrumental in being able to use spells. So in fact, we can assign this one to ourselves. We do have enough lore for that. Uh, and she does too, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, okay, but 
Uh, actually, we'll, we're going to unassign this one from Lantry because we can do uh, accents, which give us, like for this one, is a greater strength, which is probably what we're going to pick. Uh, we can have greater range. Only two more meters. But, you know, it might be nice. This is a special one that is uh, kind of unique to the um, it's unique to fire and ice because it gives you sort of a frost fire which is frost and ice together it can freeze and burn at the same time which is kind of insane but I think this uh, intensifier is probably what we actually want and in fact we can increase our range too because why not let's assign that you can't actually change the name of your spell because uh, eventually these are going to be kind of pretty pretty customized. So there's illusion that we have as well. Now these are all kind of different. Uh, so for example, if you choose focused intent with it, you get spectral blur, uh, which increases your graze deflection and your hit deflection for 45 seconds. So that is your melee, guys. You want to cast that on. Uh, to help them avoid getting hits. False Pit is kind of a cool cool one because it can uh, give a prone, which is really good. So we're going to intensify that, and in fact, we can increase the range as well and give that to Lantry as well. I like that one a lot. And then for the final one, I think I'm going to go with one of these uh, and I'll go with the frost fire and yeah we can increase it so this one I like to you can change the icon as well I like to give the frost fire a little bit of a different look to it which is very strange to me that these are the only things there are so, uh, burning frost, something like that. We're going to assign that to Lantry. Uh, and so we might as well give uh, this thing to our leader. So it's 37%. We can actually do that. That's pretty good. Uh, we'd have to be kind of close because range is actually pretty nice for this particular expression because it is short range um, but yeah and we may as well give you this too you can just take an un augmented version and I'm just doing this because it'll give me a bit more in the way of options during combat. Uh, and yeah, let's give this... Nope. Give it a little range and we're going to give it to you and you. Because that'll actually be pretty helpful. And I may as well give you that too. That'll be good for now. I got it. So let's uh, check out the old inventory here. Um, yes, I want to equip this hammer. I think I did that previously. Uh, but again, I did uh, have a crash and had to redo some of this. And we had a spear, or a javelin actually that is better than the one we're using and I think I may have had that one for a while how does any of this stuff compare those are all two-handed so it doesn't really compare okay very good Lantry uh, do we have any accessories for you we do not 
How many potions are in our stash? Oh, I bet they went to you. Um, no, I want to split. No, 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 no. There we go. I will let you have that. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you're actually going to need a ton of these, so... There we go. And maybe I'll move one back over to you. Because hopefully you'll be able to resist a bit better. Makes sense, makes sense. What do we have here? Ah. We may end up putting that on, on you instead, because you may need that when we get a lot of arcane right. damage going on. So with that settled, I think we're in great shape to continue the story. All right, they're arguing again. Trust your rabble not to turn at this last moment. How many of your conscripts have family bonds to the Vendrian Guard? It is decided. The Disfavored will take the vanguard of the assault. It is the only way to assure success before the edict comes to pass. Oh, you're so young. We can forgive you for being stupid. Without your Archon of Stone to bring down those walls, you're out of your element. Only the Chorus has the numbers required to swarm the walls from all sides. Sorry about that. We will lead the vanguard of this battle. The best the Chorus could accomplish would be leaving a ramp-shaped pile of corpses propped up against the walls for my warriors to use. Their fortifications are not a concern. Even understaffed, my Earthshakers could breach the masonry in short order. Another brilliant idea! Cairn's cult is, we're sure, every bit is trustworthy and safe. Oh, uh -huh, yes, he betrayed. ...on himself. You did notice the spire at the center of the citadel? Not hard to miss it, being only the tallest thing on the horizon and such. Certainly your Earth Mages won't do anything stupid like, say, breaking the spire's foundation? What could possibly go wrong? What does he have to say to me now? We love saying the name Cairn just to watch him squirm. Graven Ash had so much hair back before he met us. I trust them more than I trust your circus of rapists, cell swords, and turncoat tearsmen. Tunon's Fate Binder has arrived. Hey there. Uh, our operations in Echo Hall. Nothing would please, please us more than to be done with this wretched valley. Perhaps if we had more support from the disfavored and from the court. Now that we are all assembled, I want reports. The Scarlet Court. All right. What do you got? What do you have to say? Presence in the outer valley. Yes. What did become of that? We should know already. Yet we do not. If we are not mistaken, the fate binder played a pivotal role in this operation. Fifth Eye, shed light on this baffling question. It is a case of mysterious disappearances. The Oathbreaker Patrol disappeared. So too did Pelux Florian. So too did our scouts sent to follow the fate binder. Really? Fate binder, explain this at once. Were the Oathbreakers at Trip Nettle destroyed? And how is it that Chorus knows so little about its own operation? 
Make Limp and his gang tried to pick a fight and had to be put down. Pelox Florian escaped in the chaos. There were Oathbreakers at Trep Nettle, but they're gone now. Apologies, I couldn't bring any live captives. I've no idea how the chorus can be so ignorant on the details. Iron Marshal, I understand we... Securing the Matonity was a gruesome affair. An agent of the School of Tides still lives, and the river was turned against us. Despite our losses, the city the day ended in success at Echo Call Crossing. The victor, victory came at a great cost. In securing the riverfront, we discovered that the denizens of Echo Call Village were in possession of stolen iron. They used our own arms against us. We, of course, put the village to the torch, and the Fate Binder wisely backed our claim to show them the price of resistance. Our victory pyre burns on the horizon for all to see. Few of them got away, but their leader, Captain Matani Sibyl, did not. Our spies tell us she was one of the founding members of the insurrection. Her death will no doubt dishearten the Oathbreakers. One less noble scion of Apex with delusions of relevance. Good riddance. Indeed. Why we march south in the first place? Are we to rule over a sea of corpses? Have you any idea how difficult it is to tax dead people? Your treatment of the locals is short-sighted. We alone follow the commandments of the Overlord. This is absurd. We aim to bring mercy and peace while Ash remains fixated on ruthless slaughter. We take the noble path of tolerance, acceptance, forgiveness towards the enemy, while the disfavored would happily see every tearsman in a grave or a cage. And yet we've seen as the wicked... Yet we're seen as the wicked troublesome one. I uh, want some blood said, otherwise why send the disfavored? Ha 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 ha. My intent was to honor the chorus and bring you a captive, but it would have taken a gang of warriors with nets to take her alive. Oh, command should be an insufferable us at every turn. If so, good job. <laughs> I think our character has probably just about had it with him. Oh, if our mannerisms offend your sensibilities, dear Fatebinder, then good. We do not want or need your love. Kairos's day of swords approaches, and our allies in the disfavored and the court <laughs> refuse to work with us. There is clearly only one reason for this. Graven Ash and Tunon have allied against us. You conspire to rob us of our deserved glory. We see how it really is. You're all against us. Conspiracy? You're the one who has acted the fool this whole time. the fool we've assembled tens of thousands of new disciples to our overlord <laughs> we may not act as severe and imperious as graven ash but his job is merely to break things the scarlet chorus has the much more difficult task of uniting these tearsmen to kairos how dare you belittle our work then the impasse is clear we both wish for the honor of leading this final assault on the vendrian guard since Tunon is not here to select the rightful bearer of this honor, we must turn to the Archon's proxy. With whom do you stand? Now is not the time for compromise. One of us will have the honor of completing this glorious conquest. We know you will choose wisely. You honor us, as I knew you would. You have made the right choice. The disfavored have stood at the forefront of battle since the first day. I mean, it just makes sense, right? Now, we have the honor of winning this final battle. Our beloved chorus! Oh, we have too many lives to protect. We can't allow your foolish decision to destroy us all! 
No. We did not work so hard only to be denied our rightful glory in the end. You will die with the disfavored. You would dare harm me and our guests from the court? Oh, buddy. By Kairos's word, this means war! How did it come to this? He roused consciousness to the sight of Raven Ash swatting his hand towards the thinning gray mist where th or green mist where the voice of Nara once stood. Oh, thank you, sir. Old soldier reflexes. Couldn't be sure if it was trying a simple illusion or to fire. Either way, needed to be sure my guests didn't perish in my war tent. Wouldn't mm, true. Uh, we will have to take Ascension Hall without the yes. course's help. And instead of having false allies on our side, at least we can march on the Citadel knowing full well who is friend and foe. It goes without saying. The disfavored need you now for this glorious battle. Please, what other choice am I given? It is clear the voices of Narat would endanger all of us out of vanity. Besides, we all know when this war is over, someone must rule and protect the tears. So I will start protecting the tears from the depravity of the Scarlet Chorus. Oh, the fair enough. Secrets left behind one of his spies. Perhaps we should send her back to her master in pieces. Oh. Something to say, Beric? Nothing at present, Archon. Forgive the interruption. I'm surprised you're still here. Save your furry for the battlefield. I won't stand by another violation of the blue flag. Versus with me. The Archon's henchmen in your company. This is aiding and abetting the voices of Narat. I cannot stand for it. Um, maybe I want the voices to think I'm being carefully observed. The voices of Narat knows better. Of that much, I can assure you. Whatever deceitful ploy you have in mind, he can think lifetimes ahead of it. You are playing a dangerous game, Binder. If you wish to hold a venomous serpent so close, I will allow you your own self-destruction. <laughs> now leave me. When you are ready to join the assault, speak to the Iron Marshal. Very good. I guess I didn't even look to see if there was uh, any loots, 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 loots in the tent. We're going to go back. Just in case. Oh, buddy. Earthshaker staff and a turquoise. Wet stone. Can't do that. Well, the crazy thing is, you know, that whole thing kind of took th took over the whole episode, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have to wait till next time to go and fight. So thanks for watching and we'll see you then.